This is Mercedes-Benz Southwest and welcome back to our sustainable summer road trip. Today we're in Devon and we're at Mercedes-Benz of Plymouth and we're joined by local tennis influencer and coach from Just Ball Tennis, Josh Brown. We'll be giving him a taste of our all-electric EQA. EQA is the newest addition to our all-electric EQ range, which arrived in showrooms back in April of this year and has an impressive mile range of 263 miles. The exterior of the EQA takes the elegant structure of the GLA and adds distinctive Mercedes EQ features, which combine the best in style, luxury and technology. Our first stop is Beer Ferris, a small village situated in West Devon. We're off to hit some balls and watch Josh in action on his home turf. I play tennis because there is a really good social side to the game. It's also really physical because it keeps me really fit. Uh, and I also enjoy the challenge because I'm not only playing against my opponent, but I'm also playing against myself. Our next stop is the Two Bridges Hotel, which sits right in the heart of Dartmoor near Princetown. We're off to try one of their famous cream teas. So, how long does the EQA take to fully charge? Um, like the EQC, it takes about 40 minutes to charge from 10 to 80 percent. So, really quick. So, Josh, this is the ultimate question: jam and then cream, or cream and then jam? Uh, that is a really good question. Uh, so usually I've always done uh, jam and then cream, yeah. but I think, and I could be wrong, but I think that's the Cornish way. So being a Devon boy, yeah. I think I'm going to have to change to cream and jam. <laughs> stop we're heading back to Plymouth to catch the ferry over to Mount Batten, a historical tourist hotspot built in the 1660s. I love Devon because I have a lot of childhood memories here uh, and it also has the perfect mix of city life, things such as bars and restaurants but it also has a uh, really luxurious side with things like the countryside and its beaches. I really like the EQA because of the size. It's not too big and not too small. It's a really compact SUV. Uh, I really like the comfort as well because especially living in Devon when some of the roads can be quite bumpy, it stands up to it really well. Uh, and lastly, I really, really like the fact that it's electric, which means that it's really good for the environment. This is the first electric car that I've driven uh, and I absolutely love the day out with the EQA so it's 100% a car that I would consider buying. We're sadly heading to the end of this part of our road trip here in Devon. A huge thank you to Josh for joining us on this leg of our road trip. He's off to get some sleep back at the two bridges after a very busy day. Subscribe to keep up with this series as we continue our road trip through Devon next month. Thank you for watching.